Hello, my name is Peter. This is JF. We're from VPix Technologies in, uh, in Montreal. Welcome to uh, SID Display Week 2025. Today we are presenting XCT for Extreme Color Technology. What is XCT? Well, basically, it's a method to pretty much double the color gamut of any display that's on the show floor uh, any. right now. LCD, OLED, whatever? LCD, OLED, uh, micro LED. Correct. And uh, what is, how do you do that? I can tell you what it does, but uh, as for how it does, we're going to have to sign some contracts for that. So is it, is it coming to the market in the future? Uh, right now, this is our first prototype. So we finished it about uh, three weeks ago. That's the advantage of the uh, innovation zone, uh, zone, is that we get to show first prototypes as they're coming out. Are you saying this is the most colorful display in the show? It the is world. definitely the most colorful display, not only in the show, but uh, in the world, yes. In the world? Yes. So what am I seeing here? Well, what we've done is we've captured some wide color gamut images. So we've got them from three sources. We've, had, we've got some multispectral imagery. Uh, we've got some raw image files from cameras that surprisingly also support uh, wide color gamut uh, imagery. And we've got some synthetic imagery as well. But one of the things that all three of those image sources have in common is that they have uh, color, color gamut pixels which exceed uh, P3, and some of them exceed even uh, Rec 2020. Are you comparing? Yes. So, so, what is so what we've done here is this is a, uh, a consumer display. It's actually a $1,000 high-end uh, 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 P3 uh, consumer display. And we've taken the same glass from that uh, display and we've implemented extreme color technology in the glass for the right-hand display. So we have a slideshow going and we're showing XCT encoded imagery uh, on the images. And you can so compare let's try my another. Eye. I can show a couple of images. I'm not sure what oh. your, how well your camera and Yeah, my camera is not being able to <laughs> capture what I'm seeing right here. Okay. So, so what, what should be my experience right now? The experience right now is that the colors on the right-hand display, on the XCT display, are actually the colors that you would see if you were looking at these insects. So we visited an insectarium. We used a wide color gamut camera to take pictures of the insects. Uh, if you try to render them on the, S, uh, on the uh, P3 display, then you see certain colors, the normal colors you would see if you were looking at a, a nature documentary, looking at these insects. But when you render them on the XCT display, you see much wider color gamut uh, pixels. So that's what the butterfly would look like if you were actually flying around, if you were actually walking in a field and saw that So butterfly. it's just a question of my camera's uh, frame rate right now. I don't know, the, I don't use uh, manual settings. Maybe I'll, I'll try to increase brightness or change now, but, uh, but with the eyes it looks just uh, very stable. And uh, can you try another on the sure. slideshow? All right. So these insects here are showing a, a property called iridescence where the insects are showing uh, very saturated greens, blues, reds. And on the left hand P3 display, you can actually, you see what the, those insects would look like on a normal television, uh, or actually a normal television would be sRGB, which is even smaller uh, gamut. So this is considered a wide color gamut. But on the right hand display, the, the insects look like uh, as if you were actually looking at the insects uh, in a field. Can you uh, increase the brightness on the displays or you reduce the brightness or? Well, like any other display, there would be a brightness setting, yes. <laughs> so, uh, but your technology does not impact that, or maybe you cannot say? No, the technology does not impact brightness. It does not impact uh, dynamic range. If you have a high dynamic range, pixel technology, uh, we can apply XCT to that. Uh, it's really quite independent to the pixel technology. I mean, it, we've applied this prototype to liquid crystal because it was the easiest and the fastest. It could be applied to uh, quantum dot OLEDs, uh, micro LEDs. So I can go through a couple more quickly. This here, it's uh, probably difficult for your camera to see the difference, but basically the, uh, the color had an emerald, the water had an emerald color, which uh, does not render well under P3. It's outside the gamut of P3, but it renders very well on the XCT display. Roses. So here, these roses on the right-hand display, you could actually probably almost smell them if you scratch the screen. On nice. the left-hand display, not so much. So how does it impact the potential uh, like digital art frames, galleries, displays? Because it impact, are you impacting that? Well, you actually, you mentioned galleries. If you're talking about art galleries, I mean, I see a future where you could actually encode using wide color gamut XCT, uh, a whole series of, uh, of paintings, I say, at the Louvre. And then you could present that art on, uh, on flat panels in uh, cities uh, all around the world. So that would be a good uh, application. 
uh, NASA. You know, you go to a space center, and uh, and and they're showing images, let's say, that were taken of the Earth or of another planet, and they have hyperspectral cameras which give uh, which support very wide color gamuts. Unfortunately, no displays that currently exist can actually show those true colors. So the only people who have actually seen the colors, the true colors of the Earth. Uh, are astronauts from space. But if you were to take these multi-spectral images and put them onto a display like this, then people would actually be able to uh, appreciate the colors. AI the is doing some interesting upscaling and image processing and stuff like that. Could you, AI, improve the color gamut on all content to make it look better? Well, I, I don't see a way in which AI would increase the color gamut of a display. I mean, it might remap and push some colors around so it looks like uh, but, uh, a wider No, no, color but gamut. increase the quality of the content to make it look better on your display. D uh, I mean, I suppose you could do that. What, what we've done is we've just mapped uh, the exact you know, X, Y, Z, CIE coordinate uh, onto our display. Now, I'm not uh, much of an artist, so I would leave that to the artists, uh, you know, the game, game developers, to decide uh, how they'd like to use that, uh, use that wider color gamut. So is this the first time you show it? This is the first time we show it. So a couple of, uh, couple of hours ago is the first time we showed it. So you're basically uh, one of the first people And the whole in the world. industry is going to come here and have a look? Right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. then you start talking and then we'll see how long before people can get it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> cool. Uh, how much does it increase the cost of a display, you cannot say? It's actually uh, not very much at all. I mean, it's, it's uh, algorithmic. Uh, it's a fairly simple process. Uh, so it's, uh, it, it's going uh, to be for high-end displays, definitely. But we're not talking about uh, doubling the cost of a display. We're talking about maybe adding 5 or 10% uh, to the cost of a display. The applications are actually uh, are pretty amazing. There's going to be uh, movies, documentaries that are encoded with XCT in order to encode wide color gamut. Uh, there's actually a Ryan Reynolds film that's coming out this summer, and they worked with a movie studio in, in Montreal, and we're actually implementing uh, XCT encoding uh, in a pilot project with them at that uh, studio. Uh, for the displays, televisions, your camera. Uh, Extra power consumption? Can't think Can of a say? reason. No, no, uh, no extra power. In fact, if you're interested in uh, uh, in power, I do. I would like to mention that the XCT technique also also enables the reduction of short wavelength blue light. So uh, that is a, a hot topic these days. And so it, it means it's a healthier display. It's a healthier display because uh, it only basically uses uh, short wavelength blue light when the uh, the content requires it. So for the majority of content that doesn't require short wavelength blue light. Uh, it's not going to be present on the display, so it's actually a healthier display as well, yes.